two guys who've never been in there before. Here we go with our official fight introductions. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the MCF Super Heavyweight Division. It is brought to you by Bill Summers Ford and Noble Refrigeration. Introducing first, fighting out of the Rush Jones Law blue corner, this catch wrestler, boxer, stands six foot five, weighing in at 305 pounds, holding a professional mixed martial arts record, 15 wins, five losses, and one no contest. Training out of average, Jones MMA CSW, and fighting out of Prescott, Arizona, Eric Brindle, the American Soldier. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the top tier red corner is a Muay Thai jiu-jitsu style fighter standing six foot nine weighing in at 277 pounds holding a professional mixed martial arts record three wins one loss training out of fusion MMA and fighting out of Las Vegas Nevada Maurice Jackson your referee for this co-main event is Big Fitz and here we go our co-main event of the evening Eric the American soldier Prindle and Maurice the Gorilla Jackson ready to battle inside the MCF cage. A real treat for the North Platte fans here as we see two Bellator veterans going at it and we are underway round number one in our co-main event. Part of you has to think that the first one of these big boys to land a good clean shot Megan may very well be the one that ends it. That's absolutely right there's tons of power behind these punches. A big kick by the Gorilla to the ribs of Eric Prindle. Eric Prindle able to catch it and throw it off again. The straight kick right down the pipe. And a Prindle once again able to check that kick and catch Maurice Jackson's kick for a split second. Prindle moving in with the first action. He has a guillotine, an attempted guillotine locked up. It doesn't look like he's all the way under that chin. Maurice Jackson able to hand fight, and there he goes. He may have it locked in now. Eric Prindle going for the guillotine. I can't see how secure he has it on that right side. Crank in the neck now is Eric Prindle. And it looks like he's let that guillotine go. Still controlling Maurice Jackson, Megan. Yeah, that's a lot of weight pushing up against that cage. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one resting easy on the other side of that cage right now as all that weight leads up against. A nice awesome. knee by Maurice Jackson off the side, right to the face of Eric the American Soldier Prindle. And a lot of times you get into these heavyweight, super heavyweight matches like this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. might have had a knee go out here. Looks like Eric Prindle stepped wrong right after he delivered a low blow to Maurice the Gorilla Jackson. Both fighters down. The Gorilla will get up to five minutes here for recovery and the rest stops it after a low blow. Something weird happened with Eric the American Soldier Prindle's knee there. Not yeah, sure. that was really odd. It looked like it kind of slipped out for a second. And again, it came right on the tail end of a low blow by Eric Riddle. Maurice Jackson still down on his knees trying to recover from that shot. Again, up to five minutes he'll have to recover from the low blow. What I started to say right before that was a lot of times you get these super heavyweights no one really wants to be the first one to engage because it generally means that uh, there's a brawl coming right afterwards. <laughs> but here we go, we're back at it. A high kick by the Gorilla. Eric Prindle able to check that and block it. Again, Eric Prindle seems to be moving all right on that knee. And a nice side kick by Maurice Jackson. Partially blocked by Eric Prindle, the spinning back kick that misses. Eric Prindle's calling for a 1-6-3, which is a jab, right uppercut, and a left hook. Um. And there we go, big left hook by Eric Prindle as he moves in, goes for a takedown here. And again, great defense by Maurice the Gorilla Jackson, able to fight off that takedown attempt by Eric Prindle. Approaching two minutes and 30 seconds here, round number one of our co-main event of the night, Eric the American Soldier Prindle and Maurice the Gorilla Jackson, two Bellator veterans in the MCF cage. And again, find themselves at a relative stalemate. A chicken wing going on behind the back. A uh, uncharacteristic submission by Eric Prindle there. 
as a, uh, I guess I'll call it a chicken wing. Everyone's kind of confused. The but, <laughs> but there we go. A submission victory for Eric, the American soldier Prindle. Again, able to just crank that arm behind the back and force the tap out by the gorilla, Maurice Jackson. Megan, that was an interesting end there. Yeah, I don't really quite know what happened. I'm waiting for the replay. We'll wait for the replay from my vantage point. And like I said, I, if it were in front of the body, you might call it a chicken wing, but it was behind the body. So I'm not sure what we're going to call it. Nonetheless, a submission victory by Eric the American Soldier Prindle. And with Nate and the crew, here comes our replay. Let's see if we can see what happened in this one. Up against the cage, again engaging Eric the American Soldier Prindle. And you'll see here shortly, he gets that arm cranked behind the back, which forces the tap out. And an unorthodox submission, unlike one I've that, seen. Yeah, that know. was just a quick end to that fight. It was. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Big Fitz on the top of the fight. With two minutes, 39 seconds of the first round, three winner by Tampa. Due to standing, Kamora Eric Prindle. And 